Hey everyone, Tristan back with another video and I just wanted to show you the Chord Hugo 2 being used in my setup as a desktop DAC. The Chord Hugo 2 is literally one of the best DACs for the money that you can get. Uh, it just sounds really awesome. But as you know, it's a transportable device so you can use it portably or you can you know, use it in your desktop system. So right now I've got it set up in my desktop system. Now I want to show you that if you are using this in a desktop system and you have an external uh, headphone amplifier or you know preamp uh, it may not be the most ideal setup you know if it's something that you don't want to take with you and it's just going to sit on your desk then you probably wouldn't want to look at the Q-Test because that is a desktop form factor the reason I say that is the Hugo 2 does work perfectly fine you know in a desktop setup as you can see here and it is set up uh, you know in desktop mode here so it's not actually charging the battery I turn the LEDs brighter there but you can see you've got cables on both sides, so it's a little bit, you know, inconvenient to sort of set up on your desk uh, because you've got, you know, cables on both sides, you know, ins and outs on both sides and whatever. So, you know, I mean, it works and it sounds good and sounds the same as the cutest and everything. But, uh, you know, in a desktop setup, if you're not going to be taking it with you anywhere or you don't want to listen directly out because the Q-Test doesn't have a headphone amplifier built into it, it's just a DAC only. So that requires, you know, a separate, uh, you know, amplifier. So if you don't want to ever listen directly out of the cord, you know, get the Q test, you know, but I like the Hugo too, because I actually like to listen directly out of this. And I think it, you know, sounds really good. Anytime you're hooking up the DAC to a separate amplifier, you are losing a little bit of resolution just by nature of electronics and physics, because you're a little bit further away from the DAC. So you will always get sort of the most transparent sound, you know, when you're plugging directly into the DAC and listening through headphones that way. However, sometimes you don't have enough power or you, you want to drive hard to drive headphones or you just like the sound of an external amplifier and you get more damping factor and all that stuff by using it as a DAC and using a separate, you know, headphone amplifier, which is what I'm doing here. But so anyway, you can see in my setup, I've got these two RCA outs. Those are going into the headphone amplifier. Uh, this is the quarter inch headphone out from the Hugo 2 and I actually have an adapter here. It's a four pin adapter balanced. So I can use my balance cable here and plug directly into there without having to switch, you know, the headphone cable from the Odyssey 4Z. Then in the front, I like this cable. This is my uh, desktop USB cable. It's made by Supra, which I really like and sort of recommend this USB cable. It sounds great. Um, but because the Hugo 2 doesn't have a USB input, it only has a uh, micro USB. I have to have this adapter. This is an AudioQuest USB to micro adapter. So that's plugged in there. Uh, then here is the power. This is just the five volt power USB. Well, it's not, well, it, is a, it is a USB plug, micro USB, but it's going directly into the wall. I have this little sort of wire manager thing here because these cables here, these two cables are actually going that way. So they kind of bend back. And, you know, I didn't want to stress out the micro USB jacks on the Hugo 2. So I wanted to kind of have it streamline and come out forward. And then it can gently bend back there. So I have this little manager here to do that. And it just makes it a little bit more streamlined and less stressed out on the, on the connectors of the Hugo 2. And uh, this is really a good setup for me because, like I said, I most of the time listen through the amplifier because I think it sounds really good and I get more power out of it and all that kind of stuff. And I can listen balanced. But when I want to listen directly out of the Hugo 2, I can. I can just plug the headphones in directly back there. Whereas if I had the cutest, uh, the cutest, I wouldn't need this adapter because the cutest has a USB directly in. But the cutest doesn't have a headphone amplifier or anything in it. So I wouldn't be able to listen directly out of the DAC. I would have to always, you know, use a separate headphone amplifier. And like I said, I really do like to listen directly out of the uh, Chord Hugo 2 uh, sometimes just depending on you know what I'm listening to and if I feel like uh, I need more power or not. Listening directly out of the Chord Hugo 2 is fine for most headphones. It can output a maximum of just over one watt, I believe. But uh, you definitely get more damping factor and uh, more involvement and more bass when you're using a more powerful amplifier. Um, so that's just something to note. I like to switch off again between the two. So. Anyway, I just thought I would show that to you because I have got some questions about it, uh, you know, about like what DAC I currently use in my desktop system, whether or not I recommend the Hugo 2 or whatever. And I do definitely recommend it. 
especially if it's something that you think you might want to sometimes listen to in a uh, desktop setup like I have here, but then also sometimes take it with you places as well, like when you travel and stuff like that. In my Cord Hugo 2 review, I said that if I only wanted one DAC and I was going to use it, you know, transportably as well as in a desktop setup, it would be the Hugo 2. I think for the money, the Hugo 2 sounds just really great. And a lot of the reviewers actually say that it compares very favorably to desktop DACs costing like, you know, two times as much uh, or even more than that. Um, so yeah, it sounds really great and uh, like it a lot. And it's really quite versatile as well, you know, in a desktop setup, as you can see here, as long as you're willing to sort of put up with the, you know, way the cables are routed. So thanks for watching this video and uh, I will see you in my next video. This has been my look of the Cord Hugo 2 in a desktop setup.